Maud is basically a searchable database that contains the last 10 years of med device report data. It doesn't include data based on certain exemptions, variances, or alternative reporting requirements. And this has been the subject of some amount of debate because there are other databases that FDA maintains which are maybe less obvious. And there has been some pushback that not every adverse event makes it to MAUD into one central repository. But now there are downloadable data files that consist of voluntary reports back to June 93. There's actually data that goes before that. There are zip files all over the MAUD database. You can pull these zip files. Let's talk about OpenFDA. All sorts of uh, data about recalls. I mean, they got drugs, they got devices, they got everything in here. But they also have APIs that allow you to access the data. MAUD and OpenFDA, two amazing resources that I know we use it into being. Why study what went wrong before we tell you what's changed at these two databases? Why should you study what went wrong? That may seem like an obvious answer. We want to make it better, right? But beyond that, here's the word, risk. Can I have two words? Okay, risk management. This is heart and soul of medical device and in general medical product development, including drugs and everything else under the sun that treats people. We need to manage risk and there are standards out there for how you manage risk. In fact, there's often requirements to consider what has gone wrong in previous generations of devices. So understanding what has gone wrong in a device class that you may be interested in is really important. This is something we do in our company all the time. We'll go to MAUD and to other reports to be able to look and see how have similar devices fared in the marketplace? What kinds of errors do they have? And what you find is very interesting and it could be surprising. Okay, so what got added to MAUD and to OpenFDA? Really, it's just this, unique device identifiers. These are, for lack of a better word, the barcodes that now allow you to track things like the lot number and the production date and things like that, the, the manufacturer's location for every medical device in the US. The requirements were rolling out over the past 10 years. They're now fully established. And UDIs have now been added to the database so that problems can be tracked down and you'll now have specific lot manufacturer, and other info, which we think is pretty cool. But if you want to think about the device that you're developing, I encourage you to look at device failures. MOD is a publicly accessible database, OpenFDA publicly accessible. Even if you're not a data scientist and want to dig in deeply, a cursory look through based on some keywords for similar devices is well worth your time.